All right, welcome back to another fun-filled, fantastic day of Project Lead the Way. I'm your host, it's Ms. Vogel. Um, we are getting into uh, our rocket builds uh, today. Every single person should have picked up um, a bag of rocket supplies, either from your homeroom instructor, um, or you came to campus and picked it up uh, from the distance learning area in the lobby. Make sure that within uh, your rocket bag, not only do you have the instructions, it's important, but you have all the supplies listed. Not only do they have a letter, um, they also actually give you the exact um, uh, drawing of what the piece should look like. So make sure you have all of them. They're also listed uh, below. A couple of extra things that I grabbed uh, for today. I have um, some glue. I got a ruler. I, of course, have um, a writing utensil. I have a pen because we never use pencil in practically the way. Uh, we have an X-Acto knife and all of my other supplies. Uh, so when uh, you open up your instructions, we're going to be working on uh, steps one and step two today. So number one is going to be preparing the fins, and then number two is going to be uh, assembling the engine mount. When you get your fins, um, it's going to be coming in, in chunks like this. When you snap it apart, you're going to notice that you get a couple of uh, frayed edges. That is what you are going to be responsible for sanding away. So once you snap these off, you see you get um, kind of a frayed edge. It's a little bit sharp. Be careful. Uh, that is what you are sanding. When you sand all of your pieces and you're going to go, make sure you have all three fins and they are entirely sanded and looking really great. So I can, I can see right now this needs to be sanded a little more. So go ahead, get my sandpaper, make that smooth. And that is looking a lot better. Um, one thing you do not want to be doing is rounding out the edges of your fins, okay? You're not taking away any of the corners. You're simply making sure that the pieces that you um, snapped off of uh, the excess um, that are uh, entirely sanded, so there's no frayed pieces, um, in the middle of your fins, okay? Uh, with the components they snapped out of, um, you're more than welcome to keep these. Uh, just be careful, these are also going to be uh, fairly sharp. Um, you can throw them away uh, if you don't want them. Uh, they will not be needed for the rest of the rocket. So as long as you have your three fins, those are sanded, you're good to go. All right, step two is going to be uh, assembling the engine mount. This is when um, I grab uh, this white tube and I'm going to go ahead and make uh, three different lines. I have already measured um, ahead of time, but I'm going to tell you exactly what I did uh, to uh, get those measurements. Okay, so looking um, at uh, my little tube, okay, so from here to here, this is where you're going to make um, the uh, two and a half inch mark. Okay, so measuring from this end to this end, you have a two and a half inch mark. You are then going to take a ruler and then from this end to here is one inch. Okay, from this end to here is one inch. And then from the very end to this mark, very end to this mark is three eighths of an inch. Okay, so you're measuring two and a half inches, one inch from the end and three eighths of an inch. Okay, you're going to need a ruler for that. Uh, next, I'm going to take uh, my X-Acto knife. I know that I always keep my hand black to black so it's safe. I push up on the blade, lock it down so it's not going to move. Um, at your two and a half inch mark, so the one that's farthest away from that end, um, I went ahead and I made a one eighth of an inch incision. Okay, just like that. So I cut into the tube. Um, that is for this piece. So I'm going to go ahead um, and take uh, the hook of that piece, place it into uh, where your incision was. And it's going to look something like that. Okay. Next, uh, you are going to need um, part C. So this little, little green tube. You are going to um, slide this together up until you reach the one inch marking. Okay, before I slide anything into place, I'm gonna go ahead and get my glue ready. Because when I slide that piece on, uh, part C, I don't want it to go anywhere. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, so I'm just putting glue around. You do not need a whole lot. We're gonna proud to glue the way, less is more. <laughs> if you use too much glue, it's gonna be a whole big mess. All right, so now that this is all, uh, has glue on it, I'm gonna go ahead and try to put the white tube into the green tube. Might take just a little bit of finagling to get it in there. Okay, so I have it on the end, all right? And I'm going to push it, I think you guys can see this. I'm gonna push it up to this one inch mark. So I have all my glue ready uh, for uh, my part C to slide over and it's going to hold it into place. Here we go. So it might take um, just a little bit, a little bit of force on your end uh, to get it into place. You wanna make sure that you're not too far beyond that one inch marking. We should be getting something like that. That's it. Okay, uh, so that would be uh, assembling your engine mount and then um, the tube marking uh, booster stage and preparing the recovery system will be tomorrow's lesson. That's all I got for you.